the depth of water is going to have a huge implication on the swimming lesson as to what sort of skills and drills you'll be able to do with your baby. So this depth of water is perfect for her to independently push and float to me and independently float up on the ledge. Harper, swim to mummy. Swim to mummy. Harper, ready, go. Go. Good girl. Good girl. Yay. And I'm not picking her up. I'm making her do the work. Kiss for mum. Kiss for mum. Ah, good girl. Good girl. So this time, we know she's got good breath control, so I'm going to give her a longer assisted float into that wall. Harper, ready, go. One, two, three, four, five, and she's up. Good. So she's having to hold her breath there for five seconds. Good girl. Good girl. Harper, swim to mummy. Ready, go. So you can see that she's actually trying to wriggle and move to me. Good girl. And every time the baby gets to you, you can show them something. So we're going. Harper kicks. Harper kicks. So Harper at 11 months actually knows what I mean when I say kick. Let me show you. And you can also move through the wall. Coming back. Harper, ready, go. Good girl. I'm always watching her. I'm letting her be independent, but I'm doing it under my close supervision. Good girl. Mm -hmm. 